Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. Welcome to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Well, today we're down in Oceanside fishing aboard the Sea Star, and we'll be looking offshore for yellowtail, maybe even a tuna or a dorado. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. This week's sport fishing is brought to you by Shakespeare, manufacturers of America's number one selling fishing rod, the Ugly Stick. By Bomber Lures, for both fresh and saltwater fishing. By Rebel Lures. By Vessel Assist, be safe while out on the water. By Food Saver. By Mustad. Be sharp, use Mustad. And by Lowry's, the difference is delicious. Nice size bird too. Yeah, and Shorty Wirely to keep you from getting bit off on the big berries. I'll show you the teeth. Look at those. Right yeah, from the berries. Cool. Those teeth will get you. <laughs> nice one of your guys. Alright, look at that. Alright, that boy. Fatty. Okay. Good job, Pinky. What number is that thing? Six. Six. Pretty right, good. Go get another one. Oh, yeah. Get on in, Timmy. Hoo -ah. Wahoo! Pump up, just, just pump up more. Pump up what? Just, just pump up like a foot slower and crank down. We're not going to really move. <laughs> yeah, mama send money. <laughs> yeah, you had the nice bait there, Tim. I saw that coming. Come on, baby. Here, walk left underneath. Come on, Jimmy! One down, one down, one down. Reel down, pump up. Yeah!
This week, Fishtails is brought to you by Bomber, manufacturers of both freshwater and saltwater lures. This week's Fishtails comes to us from Jerry Borges and Helen Wade. They were fishing a 10-day trip aboard the Royal Polaris when they landed these two beautiful wahoo, 55 and 45 pounders respectively. For both of them, it was their first wahoo ever. Well, congratulations, and for being this week's Fishtails, we'll send you a free copy of my cookbook, you can be part of Fishtails too. Send your photos and fish stories along with your name and complete address to Sport Fishing, Care of Fishtails at P.O. Box 90, Montebello, California, 90640. And if you become this week's Fishtails, we'll thank you with a free copy of Fisherman's Cookbook. Be sure to check out our website. There's a new one. Hi, right, Travis. All right, Travis. Right, too. Oh, big boil right there. What was that? Jumping out of the water. Jumping out of the water. He wants Oops. Oh, there we go. Let me cut the train. Turn around with it. There we go. So what we got here? Oh, it looks like a barracuda. Looks like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, legal barracuda. Ooh, nice head gap. Thanks. There's a good one. That's a good head gap. Hard to gap these guys. Let's nice chug. You got him on the live bait. We got a bunch of fresh ones going out. Sorry, I didn't just cut it. Thanks a lot. What I Okay. You want me to catch this one? Yes. Take it easy on him. Slight line. Put your thumb on it. Don't, 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 no, don't, don't put your thumb on that. Don't put your thumb on that. Put your left hand right up here. There's a front There's left a hand here. Yeah. Okay. Lift up and crank down. Just crank down? Yeah. Lift up one foot. Uh -huh. Crank down two or three cranks. Okay? This is Randy, a friend of mine, grew up together in Montebello on the very same street. And both graduated from Montebello. Well, no, I went to Montebello High School. He went to St. Paul. St. Paul's High School. Yeah, he went to the Catholic school. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Come on, Randy, hold it up. Didn't they teach you how to fish today? But today we're out with a bunch of his friends and one of your buddies. Which one is he? John. Come here, John. The reason we're out fishing today is... It's my bachelor party. I ain't catching anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's John's bachelor party. He's out here fishing with us today. The friend of Randy, so we're out here filming it for him. And, uh, it's all because of this guy. He's put this together. Got Dan here. Got everybody else. We're having a great time on this boat. We're going to catch some more fish. Too. That's right. It's Everyone's not this hitting. Boat. Everyone's it's hitting. The Sea, the sea star. star. That's right. Out of Oceanside. That's right. You have to come down here and fish on the Sea Star. Catch a fish like this. There you go. All, All right. right. This is just proof anybody can catch yellow That's tap. right. Anyone. <laughs> anybody can Anyone. do this. My first fish right here. All right. A little help from the deckhands. Go back and throw great. up. No, no I'm, I'm all right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes another one.
We've got one here on the slab spoon. It uh, wouldn't be considered a barracuda jig, more of a freshwater bass jig, but it works really good out here on the barracuda. Here he is right there. Bounced up here. And uh, there's a barracuda I just caught. Great. Here's a jig that we just caught this on. This is a slab spoon. Just a little small silver spoon. Works out really good. A nice quality barracuda. Thanks a lot. All right, we got a yellow tail right here. Look at this fish. All right. Very nice. Come on, BK. Work your BK. Get up a little harder. Nice yellow. I feel like Brandon. Walk in there. Get in the boat. Nice big hey, big barracuda. All right. Big barracuda. Yeah, boy. Nice fish. There's an animal right behind you. You'll have to go ahead and loosen up on your. Uh, He's not making this easy on me. Nice show. Oh, he's beating on racetrack. All right. All right. That is a There's a beauty. Yeah, I was just saying. It's unusual, but that's the third one today on wireless. The second one on wireless. All right. Thanks a lot. Number six. Nice yellow tail. Yeah. That works. Right. Is that six? Yep, six. Yellow crab that came out of there. Yeah. 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 Okay, go over. Walk over. Good luck, oh, walk in. Nice boil right there. Well, fish just turned on now again. Oh, oh just lost one yellow there. There's definitely a yellow tail. You look at that rod tip there. You see that little bounce? That's the head of the yellowtail there. So we got two more yellowtail going. Just taking it nice and easy. 20 pound test super silver thread. Just let them ride. Let the rod do the work. <laughs> You're on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Taking it nice and easy. Just take whatever line you can get. And every time I drop the rod, I want to be turning the handle. Just get a little bit of line. If all you can get is one crank, take one crank. If you can get a couple cranks in it, take it. Don't want to ever leave any slack in the line. Just trying to keep the fish right in this area. It's not a real monster fish, it's a good sized fish, pulling some line here. But just trying to keep them controlled. If he really wants to take off down the rail, then we'll go ahead and go down the rail. So far, we got him going pretty good right here. Can't see him yet. I got one too. Move that Can you put your rod over mine? Uh, yeah, I got one on too though. Okay, never mind. Nice. You got it. Got it. Nice All right. Yeah, this is Jason. He just gaffed the fish for me. See where he gaffed it up real high on the body, real close to the head. Yeah, what you want is close to the head as possible. And that way, here's a beautiful gaff right here, too. Come on here, Charles. Another beautiful gaff like that. You see the job that these guys are doing? Ensure that you get more meat when the fish is flayed out. You got all this good eating meat. You're not sticking the gaff way back here. These are two beautiful gaff jobs, great gaff jobs. Thanks, guys. Good job. Right. Well, stay tuned, and we'll be right back with a lot more action aboard the Sea Star here in Oceanside. All right.
Thanks a lot, Travis. Nice gaff job. This is what we call wide open fishing. Beautiful yellow tail. This is what we call wide open fishing. Everywhere you look, there's guys hooked up. We got two going here. We got about six going forward. There's fish boiling everywhere. It's wide open. Nice little yellow tail. See how easy it is? This is all you gotta do. Throw a bait in the water, they come by and they eat it. Does our best man have one? I mean, does our groom have one? Where is he? Come on, Harry, take this one. What's your name again? John. John? Ready? Might be the last one you have. Yeah. <laughs> this is John. He's out here for his bachelor party, so. I just hand this fish for him. We don't know when he's gonna get permission to fish again. Yeah. <laughs> Let's turn the handle. We don't know when he's gonna get permission to see the light of day again. <laughs> <laughs> you step back a little bit so they can see your face. There you go. All right. All right. Every time you lower the rod, just turn the handle. All right, got it. Yeah. Didn't back down at that. <laughs> Here's Travis, first time live on TV gapping it. Thank you, Travis. All right, nice job. John, when's the wedding? September 12th. Okay, so this show will have already aired by the time he gets married. The last fish is a bachelor. <laughs> Dude, oh, well, up, <laughs> these guys don't think you're gonna get out no of fish much. No pun intended. And what's your future wife's name? Lydia. And your Lydia. girlfriend's name? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yellowtail. All right, congratulations. Thank you, Dan. It's number one. Number one. Thank you, Yellowtail. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. Stuff. This is how you do it, guys. Right through the eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan. All right, Randy, luck. get in here. Okay. Uh, There's another fish there. Right on. So this is Randy again with another Yellowtail, which I got lucky and gaffed in the head there. Beautiful little yellowtail. Beautiful fish. You having fun? Having an excellent time. Dan's a great host, and the, the Sea Star is wonderful, and all my friends have a good time. I recommend it for anyone out there who wants to come and have a good day fishing in Southern California, San Diego, Oceanside. Woo-hoo! Out of sight. All right. Captain right. Joe's seal of approval. That's yeah. right. All right. Randy's from one of, the, one of the guys from back in the old hood. That's right. Here he is. Is. <laughs> Big yellow fish. <laughs> All right, let's put this right. one away. Perfect. All right, I'm going to throw you a sack. Another nice yellow tiger. Oh, yeah, here comes the Big Mary. This week, the tip of the week is brought to you by Shakespeare, manufacturers of America's number one selling fishing rod, the Ugly Stick. Oceanside, Joe Cassiola, and he'll be giving us this week's tip of the week. Okay, thank you, Dan. One uh, real important thing, and it's it's so basic that sometimes people overlook it, but it's so very important, especially when you're fishing yellowtail like we are today in Big Barracuda, is to set the drag properly before you make your first cast of the day. Okay, it should be set tight enough so that you can wrap this line around your hand and pull it out under good tension. Okay, it should be fairly tight. This one's a little bit loose. I'm going to tighten it up using the star drag adjustment on this side. So again, tighten up so you can wrap it around, pull it out under good tension. If it's too tight, you got to buckle down all the way like that. What do you think is going to happen? You get a hookup, snap, okay? You can't snap the line in your hands, but the fish can do it because they got the leverage. The other opposite, just opposite of that conversely, if it's too loose, 
where you can pull the line out with two fingers, you'll never set the hook. You can't get the hook out of the bait and into the game fish's mouth. That's really important. It's so basic, but I see even experienced fishermen make the, mistake, the same mistake day after day, okay? So set that drag. The next thing is the hook itself. Every time you catch a fish, you want to, you want to check the, the, uh, the line right above the hook, okay? And that's very important. This area right in here, if it's frayed or it feels kind of rough, cut it off and retie it. Don't use it a second time. It's going to cost you the jackpot, okay? So those two very important things. And if you do that, go with Captain Joe and uh, you'll land your jackpot fish. And that's the tip of the week. Thanks a lot, Joe. That was a great tip. We had a great time fishing on Sea Star today. Everybody in our charter had a great time. We got lots of yellowtail, huge barracuda. It was great fishing late summer. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming out with us, Dan. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week when we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. Are you ready to go? Thanks.